Hey there, everybody, especially Avid Falcons fans. My name is Peter Glover, reporting STCC News, the news as we know it. Prior to the Bruins-Falcons playoff game, I got a chance to sit down with the manager of media and community relations for the Springfield Falcons, Josh Tannenbaum, about what he does and what he thinks his team will do moving forward. I'm the manager of media and community relations which for the most part is handling all the media coverage that the team gets. If a news outlet wants to do an interview with a player, it goes through me, a coach, it goes through me. Um, all the television coverage, newspaper coverage, radio coverage, any media coverage whatsoever, it is coordinated through me. Naturally, there's going to be some, you know, some clashing there. Um, and it happens with the fans too. You know, it, it's funny because there are a lot of Boston Bruin fans in this neighborhood, in this area. And now, you know, the baby Bruins come in, they're playing the Falcons, and I could see how a fan could be a little bit conflicted there, but um, I think allegiances do, do um, stay strong, and I think our Falcons fans have supported us so well this year and from what I've heard for 20 years. Um, you look at some of the first-round picks they've made recently, like a guy like Boone Jenner who has played a little bit down here, fantastic young player. Uh, Ryan Murray, a great rookie season, a defenseman. A uh, guy like Cam Atkinson, Matt Calvert, guys who have spent time here and are now there playing significant roles for an NHL club. So I think they recognize the benefit of having a strong foundation in the American Hockey League, and we recognize, you know, obviously the importance of having a, a team in the NHL that trusts us to develop their players. And I think our coaching staff has a lot to do with that because they're the ones molding these players while they're down here, and they've done a great job. The Falcons eventually went on to win 3-2, taking a 2-1 series lead on the Providence Bruins. The highlight of the game was a sick shorthanded goal by Dana Tyrell. For now, this has been Peter Glover reporting for STCC News. Good day and good hockey. Let's go Falcons!